friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I've had a few sick days. Like, I was trying to push forward, push forward, and just, you know, pretend it wasn't happening. But it really caught up with me yesterday. So yesterday was a really bad day for me, but I'm back at them today. I took the day off and just um, was in the bed most of the day. Matter of fact, pretty much all of the day. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I got up last night and I did just a tiny bit of crocheting um, but I still kind of felt bad and just needed more rest so this morning I am back at it again and so I'm looking forward to a good day except I'm not going outside today I'm not sticking my head outside it is hot 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 Alexa said it's not gonna be 98 degrees today and I believe it because it is so hot when I got up this morning, um, we keep our bedroom really cold. It's real cool in there, and that's easier for me to breathe. Asthma, um, cold air is better for asthma than hot air. And so as I got up, I walked to the front of the house, and as I got further and further into the house, um, it was harder and harder to breathe. And when I got to the parlor where there was no air on whatsoever, the air was so thick and just hot and I immediately felt like I couldn't breathe. So I barely cracked the door and let Phoebe go out to potty and then barely cracked the door to let her back in. <laughs> I didn't want to let more hot air in but I did turn the air on and it's cooling off in there now. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a hot one here and I'm staying inside to stay cool. <laughs> and wherever you are, if you're hot, where it's hot, I hope you're staying cool. And if it's cold where you live, I hope you're staying cool, uh, warm. But anyway, guys, um, I have an idea. And I want to invite you to collab with me. And let's have a cat parade. So on Friday, I did a video about a cat book I have won. And that April Lee had also bought the same book. And we were both going to make a cat. Well, I want to extend that on out. I want to invite you to make a cat, any kind of medium, and we'll have a cat parade two weeks from today on the 25th. We'll have a cat parade. Let me check the date. I might, have, I might have said the wrong date, so just a minute. Even though I looked at this beforehand, I still might have said this the wrong date. I did. I said it wrong. Okay, today is June the 12th. June the 25th, let's send in pictures of your cat. And then on June the 26th, we will have a cat parade here on YouTube. Okay, so here's what here's the deal. A lot of my subscribers had mentioned that um, how much they love cats or, you know, like cats, wanted to crochet a cat or whatever. Um, several people mentioned they had that same book. Several people just mentioned how that much they love cats. So, I got an idea. I mean, I want to see your projects. So, I had an idea of, let's have a cat parade. So, I thought, let's everybody make a cat. And then, send those pictures in to my email address, which will be linked below in the little description box. And then, on the 26th, we can have a cat parade. So, here, here's the deal. It can be any kind of cat. Any medium. You can crochet. Needle knit loom knit draw paint make it with spaghetti i don't care whatever your medium is if it's diamond painting um you know whatever your medium is your hobby is polymer clay cats just whatever shrinky dinks whatever you know um let's have a cat parade and so those pictures need to be emailed in by june the 25th because on the morning of the 26th, I'll put that video together and get it out that day. So I'm excited about that because I want to see your creations, no matter what your medium is. There are lots of free crochet cats online. So I'm going to search for some and leave some links in the description box below. And whatever your medium is, you can search for ideas or something, you know, in your medium. Um... And, you know and create something and it's 
I have not even started on the cat that I'm going to make yet. So we're all starting fresh. We're all starting at the same time, which I may not even start on mine for another couple of days just because I have other things going on. But I thought it would be fun for everybody to uh, create a cat, kind of a make-along type thing, and send those in. And let's just see everybody's cats that they made. I, um, I know that most Amigurumi animal books is going to have some kind of cat. So if you have a book, you might want to look through your books or something and see. Um, I know that there's places online where you can find a free cat. And I'm going to, uh, I, don't, I hate to say I'm right off the top of my head because I might be wrong. And I hate to say the wrong thing. But I'm going to link some in the box below. And I just think that would be fun. I'm going to make one. But you are well, more than welcome to make more than one cat. I have two cats. Excuse me. I have two cats that I want to make. But I'm not going to put that pressure on myself. <laughs> I'll be happy to just make the one because I have other things going on and, you know, lots of cats. I mean, lots of projects that I want to make, too. So, anyway, guys, um, like I said, any medium, any medium whatsoever, invite your friends to join along. Put the word out there. We're having a subscriber collab. It is cat, uh, for a cat parade. And, um... That'll be fun. I know like, I know. I often say that I'm not a cat person, and I'm really not. I'm a dog person. But I don't, like, hate cats, or it's not that I don't like cats. I do. I just am a dog person. We've had pet, you know, pet cats many, many times. Um, not only for my son's cats, but I had cats, too, <clears throat> before I ever had children. Uh, we've had pet cats and stuff. When me and Big Daddy first got married... We got a little black and white kitten, and we named it Samantha, who turned out to be a Sam. <laughs> but we loved that cat. He was um, he was really a good cat. And then um, we just had different cats over the years, you know. My father-in-law was a big cat lover, and he fed like a ton of cats every day. And when he passed away, I took on that role and would feed feed all these cats. We have a barn, and so we had lots of barn cats. <coughs> Plus, where we live, people just um, dump off cats, unfortunately, and dogs. And so, um, you know, there's always cats around out there that, um, you know, I put food out for. So, um, yeah, I want to see everybody's creations. And I think that would just be a fun thing to do. Well, um, like I said, I know there's lots of free patterns online. And I'm going to look for those for you. You can look for yourself also because you might find something I didn't find. And, um, yeah, I want it to be fun to see everyone's cats. So, I'm going to list everything down below. But please have your pictures in. No, the last day to send your pictures in is the... June the 25th, and then on June the 26th, I'll put that video together and put it out that day. A cat parade. <laughs> Subscriber cat parade is probably what I'll call it. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you're all having a great day. I hope, you know, the weather's not too bad for you there. We had a couple of days of just rain and... It really cooled off those two days and the weather was pleasant. I was able to breathe a lot better. And then boom, today it is hot, hot, hot. Like the heat came back with a vengeance. <laughs> yeah, I asked Alexa uh, what was the tip today. And she said the high is gonna be 98. And I'm like, whoa, I will not be going outside. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't be able to breathe out there. I would just be suffocating, feeling the whole time. So, <laughs> um, anyway, guys, I will see you all again in the next video. I have a Happy Mail video coming up tomorrow. And I have a project that I've been working on. I was planning on getting it out this weekend. But um, Saturday, I didn't crochet at all. 
until Saturday night. And I picked up that project and started working on it. And the piece just was not turning out correctly. And I crocheted that same piece several times. It turned out the same way every time. So I don't think it's me. <laughs> I think it's the pattern. So I'm having to modify that a little bit. So I have to make two of them. So I'm modifying that pattern for that particular part of the project to um, make it fit better. And <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna finish that up tonight. So I'll be sharing that this week and I have lots of things on plan. So come back and visit again and we will see you very soon. Bye friends.